Jen and Casey here. Today, for Fusion Online Video, we're looking at spring play and the elephant. Yes. So the elephant is one of our kind of standard classical exercises that we see done in the studio all the time. And just with a change of spring, we can change the whole emphasis on the exercise. So it depends what you're trying to do with your client. So today, let's have Casey come up into elephant. She's going to show you the right way to get on. So hand, foot, and the other foot, good, and backing it up. Now, for some of your clients, they may need to bring their feet a little bit away from the shoulder blocks if they need to shorten their elephant a bit, and that's fine. For Casey, she's able to bring her heels all the way back to the shoulder blocks. So one of the most important emphasis on this exercise is the heels stay down, glued to the mat, even as the carriage goes away. Now, we have heavy springs on. We have a two red and a blue. So this is really going to challenge the strength of the legs. So on her inhale, she's going to push the carriage away, keeping the heels down. And then on the exhale, gently coming back in. Good. And deep inhale. And exhale, scooping the carriage back in. And with these heavy springs, most people will want to jut the torso forward as they push out, right? So this is also taking lots of stability through the mid and upper back. So we want to make sure that the collarbone is spreading, the upper back is spreading, and that she has a really good connection into her lower wing muscles. Good. And relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was, you felt a lot of that in your legs? Legs and then and upper, upper back. back connection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to bring it down. Okay. And we're going to do, we're going to take a red spring off. So we're going to have a red and a blue. And so now with this spring set up, we're looking at going towards more of those challenging the stability muscles and the balance muscles and really finessing the organization of what's happening with the spine and the pelvis. So the heels still stay down and she'll do an inhale and it's a smallish movement, exhale coming in. Now with this one, she can really start to feel more of the deeper muscles, right? More of those muscles that are closer to her skeleton starting to kick on. So she probably feels more abdominals. Mm -hmm. She can probably access more into her pelvic floor, maybe her multifidus here. Good. And the coming in now is much harder. On the heavier springs, no problem coming in, right. <laughs> yeah? On this one, uh, no problem going out. The work is the coming in. So switching the springs, you're going to have a different emphasis on where the work is. On the heavy, the work is on the out. On the light, the work is on the in. Good. And gently come on down. How did that feel? It felt good. It was definitely a different type of trying to pull everything together sensation, mm -hmm. much more in the abdominals, but then yeah. also through here to keep myself pulling together. Right, so right. It's a different place of the of shoulder girdle work. work. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Good. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.